Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. A few weeks ago, the wise folks at Twitter deemed it necessary to suspend my access to that platform, despite the fact that I had several million followers, despite the fact that I had used the platform in good faith, despite the fact that I had put in the years of time and effort necessary to gain such an extensive following. despite the fact, as well, that I was a genuine force on Twitter, trending with a rather appalling and frightening degree of regularity. In many ways, I'm your monster. Lobsters aren't very empathic and they're not very social. The neurochemical system that makes him flex is serotonergic. It's the same chemical that's affected by antidepressants in human beings. If you're depressed, you're a defeated lobster. Give someone an antidepressant, it's like up, they stretch, and then they're ready to, like, take on the world again. Well, if you give lobsters who just got defeated in a fight serotonin, then they stretch out and they'll fight again. And that's, like, we separated from those creatures on the evolutionary timescale somewhere between 350 and 600 million years ago, and the damn neurochemistry is the same. And so that's another indication of just how important hierarchies of authority are. scientific experiments in the natural hot springs. The relationship between poverty and intelligence is self-evident if you're willing to think it through for any length of time. Karl Marx was a mass murderer. And... I like the unabashedly shameless capitalist ethos of the Daily Wire crew. They made me a great deal financially. John, what is it? Whatever it is, it's not of this earth. Their basic proposition is that, you know, first of all, that I'm a right-winger of some sort, and that's just not the case. The Every bloody academic in the entire Western world is leftist. I, I used to joke that I was the only conservative psychologist in the world, and that's not even the case because I'm not that conservative. And let me tell you, as a neuroscientist, neuroscientist, I'm I, an evolutionary biologist, I, by the way, not a political philosopher. <laughs> and then there's an insistence, well, climate change is real. Okay, you win. Come and get me, lobster. Well, what do you mean by real? What do you mean by change? What do you mean by climate? There's an asymmetry in all sorts of places, but that doesn't mean that Western culture is a male-dominated patriarchy. The fact that there are asymmetries has nothing to do with your basic argument. There's no fixing climate change. Climate and everything are the same word. <laughs> 